Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, I'm going to be reacting to the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. Uh, on my screen, I have uh, the nominees and the winners on each tab, because uh, I guess for some reason they they didn't do a video this year, so I guess this is just how we'll be doing it. Um, starting at... I, at the, they have... Uh, awards for dubs for uh, all the other languages, uh, Russian, German, Portuguese, French, Castilian, Spanish, did I say Castilian, whatever, all the languages, I don't, I don't speak those languages, I think it's cool that they did, I guess we'll look at them, best voice acting performance in Russian, uh, Islam, Gandhis, I don't know, voice at Kendro in Russian. Um, okay, I'm just not gonna read out these names because these will probably all be annoying. Oh, two, two voice actors doing Gojo. Both them one. Oh, and Tanjiro. And Tanjiro again. Rengoku for Spanish. Okay. This is one that I'll actually care, care about. The voice acting performance in English. Um, but I actually didn't watch too many anime dub this year. Uh, where's the... There it is. Uh, the nominees, uh, Brit Brittany Cox playing Fina from, uh, Fina Pirate Princess. I think I watched some of that dubbed. I don't remember it being too good or too bad. It was just sort of, it was good, which I mean, for a dub, like... That's always good. Uh, Laura Bailey as Toru Honda. I do remember that one was very good. In Fruits Basket, the one doing Honda, she did a very good job on the dub. Uh, Adam McArthur doing Yuji Itadori. Um, I don't, I don't remember that one. Uh, David Wald. I didn't even watch Skate the Infinity, so I don't really care about that one. And Anarius Quinones playing Rika Kawai in Wonder Egg Priority. I watched a tiny bit of Wonder Egg Priority dubbed, and I don't know if Rika was even introduced for how far I got. So, I don't know. I don't care who wins this one, really. That's all I'm saying. But it goes to David Wald. Okay, didn't watch Skate the Infinity, but, you know, that's cool. Best voice acting performance in Japanese. Ayane Sakura playing Gabby Brown, Ron. Uh, Yuki Kai, Kaji playing Aaron Yeager. Kiyoshi Kabayashi playing Daisuke Jigen. Uh, Natsuki Hane playing Odokawa. Aoi Yuki playing Kumo, Kumoku. <laughs> Kumoku, uh, Kanada Akawa playing Ai Oto in Wonder Egg Priority. Um, I, 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 I really think uh, Aaron's voice actor is very good. And that's the only one that really stands out to me for this one. I'm expecting that's the one that will win. That, I'm expecting that that is the one that will win. Because it's Attack on Titan and people are just going to vote for it. Cause, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, best film. Uh, I didn't, I, I remember voting, yeah, I haven't seen any of these movies, so don't, don't care, but, oh, I mean, I, I saw the Demon Slayer movie, I forgot about that, yeah, I did see the Demon Slayer movie, it's pretty obvious I won, not much to say about it. Best comedy, okay, here we go. Where is it? Why are they out of order? It's kind of annoying. Um, Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, Heaven's Design Team, Komi Can't Communicate, Life Lessons with Romichi Onisan, uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid S, or Odd Taxi. Um, I've seen all these except for Heaven's Design Team. Uh, but I, I don't know what to vote for. I read the first volume of Komi Can't Communicate, but I didn't see the anime. I don't know if I can vote for that one. I I don't remember what I voted for, but Comey Can't Communicate or Odd Taxi would definitely be 
my vote. Uh, let's let's see who it is. Comey can't communicate. I think I should have expected that. Uh, Comey can't communicate was super popular. It, it's it, I read the first volume. First volume, very good. But yeah, moving along. Uh, best fantasy. Oh, I I think I know what's gonna win this one. We have Ranking of Kings. That time I got reincarnated slime. The case study of Vanitas. To your eternity. One direct priority. Oh, I forgot about Mushoku Tensei. <sighs> I'm pretty sure Mushoku Tensei is gonna win. Maybe Ranking of Kings. Ranking of Kings is really popular, but it's, it's new. I haven't seen it, but uh, I think Mushoku Tensei is gonna win. Uh, I, I'm just gonna say it. I did not think Mushoku Tensei was that good. It was good, but I don't. I don't know. For me personally, nothing about it stood out. I think of. I think for me personally, none of the characters were really that good. I for me, character is a big part of it, and I didn't. I didn't like the main character. I know that's the point, but I also didn't want him to get better. I just, I just had like no feelings towards him whatsoever, which is the worst thing that you can have in a character is for you to have no feelings for them whatsoever. You don't, you don't like them. You don't hate them. You don't, you know, feel sorry for them. You don't feel angry at them. You don't want them to succeed. I just, I just didn't care about him in general. So for this one, uh, mine would probably have to be One Direct Priority. I really like that one. It was just a good, good series. Uh, or To Your Eternity. To Your Eternity was also very good. But uh, Mushoku Tensei is definitely going to win. Wait, what? What? That time I got reincarnated as slime? That? Th why? Why? I like Mushoku Tensei. I know I was just saying bad things about Mushoku Tensei, but I like Mushoku Tensei more than that time I got reincarnated as slime. Why? Why? No, no, that's that's not that's not okay. That is just. It's, what about it is good? It to me it was mostly just boring. It was. <sighs> All right, we'll we'll move on. Best action. Um. Again, these are out of order. Uh, we have Jujutsu Kaisen, Attack on Titan, V Force, I Song, Winter Priority, Demon Slayer, or Dinozaeon. That yeah, I said that right. Uh, I've seen all of these. Um, I know Attack on Titan is gonna win, but and I think uh, I don't know. When I think about it, like Winter Priority was probably my favorite of these, and. Vivi and Attack on Titan are very close seconds. And, but when it comes to action, and because this is talking about best action, I think my favorite action out of all these was in Vivi Flora Eye Song. The animation that, it was just amazing. The visuals were beautiful. It was, it was that, the action in that was amazing. It, it, it's a great show in general anyways, but. Specifically, for action, that's the best one in my opinion. But yeah, I think Attack on Titan's gonna win, because... Oh, Jujutsu Kaisen, this is... That's understandable, though. There was a lot of controversy around the CGI Titan, so I, I, I understand why this one would win. Especially because, like, people... The, the Titans were the main part of action in Attack on Titan and the whole thing with the CGI Titans. A lot of people didn't like it, so th this makes sense. I should have I should have thought of that. Uh best drama. We have 86 Fruits ba Fruits Basket, the final season, Kageki Chojo, Odd Taxi, Tier Attorney, and Wonder Egg Priority. Uh I have not seen Kageki Shoujo, but I've seen the rest of these. Uh, they're all great shows. Uh, okay, this is the same thing as the action one. But like, for drama, when I think about it, for the drama, it would have to be fruit, uh, I don't know. Fruits Basket, uh, 
pretty much all of these except for Kageki Shoujo because I haven't seen it in 86. And 86 wasn't bad. 86 was still good, but uh, I probably have to either want Fruits Basket or Wonder Egg Priority. Those two I want to win. I think Fruits Basket is going to win. It was very popular, the final season of it. Two your turn. <laughs> Why, why, why? This, 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 this was so obvious. Why didn't I think Tier Attorney would win? Tier Attorney was much more popular. I was just thinking because on my anime list, uh, Fruits Basket got to like number one for a while and it's at like number four or something on my anime list. So I was just thinking about that, but in general, Tier Attorney was more popular. So yeah, that makes sense. And then Best Romance. We have Beastars, Fruits Basket, Don't Toy With Me, Horima, Kumi Can't Communicate, and The Duke of Death and His Maid. I've seen all of these except for Beastars. Uh, I don't I don't know if I can like say I've seen Kumi Can't Communicate because I've only read the first volume. But Kumi Can't Communicate or Fruits Basket. The Duke of Death and His Maid was really, really good. But it was all it was CG, like it was all CG, and it it, it it sort of ruined it. But the but because it's romance, I can't really fault it for its visuals, right? So I don't know. I still really liked it. I'm probably going to read the manga. I feel like because 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 in the manga it doesn't have yeah obviously it wouldn't have CG, so pretty much the worst part of it would be taken out. So I think I'd really enjoy the manga. But, yeah, I'd have to say Fruits Basket or Come and Can't Communicate. I know Harima was really popular. I didn't like it as much as it seemed most people did. I, I honestly can't guess who would win in this one. Which one would win, I mean. But let's see. The winner is... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I was like, wait, to your eternity? Best romance? I mean, okay. <laughs> but no, uh, best romance goes to Horima, okay. I, I don't agree with it. I understand. We'll just move on. Oh, it was by Cloverworks. I didn't even know that. I really like Cloverworks. Uh, but anyways, uh, best fight scene. Oh, let's see. Oh, what the heck? Where is it? This is gonna take me a while. Okay, here we go. Aaron Yeager versus Warhammer Titan, Naruto versus Ishiki, I, I, Ishiki, uh, Yuji versus, uh, versus uh, I'm not gonna read through all of those, I'll just, Jujutsu Kaisen, Mishikobayashi's Baby Flores Eye Song. I'm gonna have to say Baby Flores Eye Song, I talked about the action before, yeah, I, I, I don't, I think it's better than all of these. I haven't seen Boruto, so I can't say, but... Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. That's that's always been an interesting one for me. Because the animation was good, but I feel like people were overhyping it just a little bit just because of how surprisingly good it was. It still doesn't really compare to some others. So I think Vivi is my favorite favorite fight scene in this one. Vivi versus Yugo Kat Vivi versus Yugo Kat. Ka 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 <laughs> Kakitani. That it wasn't even that hard of a word. But yeah, that's probably my favorite of these, but all of them were good. I don't I don't care too much about this one. Best fight scene. It goes to Oh oh Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah. Yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen had beautiful animation. Not really too too angry about that one, but Best Antagonist. Aaron Yeager, Tomura Shika, Shigaraki, uh, Yano, Uchid, Uchidna, uh, I'm not even gonna try that one, Tete Kisaki. Um, I don't know, I don't care. I, I, I just don't care about any of these ones too much. I would say Aaron Yeager, but, mm, I don't know. I know Aaron Yeager's gonna win, but... It, it, it's whatever. I don't really care too much. Yep, Aaron Yeager. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Best protagonist. 
Aaron Yeager, Yuji Itadori, Joe, Odukawa, Boji, Ayoto. Um, I know Aaron Yeager's gonna win, but I mean, by the way, this doesn't actually work because the definition of an antagonist is that they oppose the protagonist, so Aaron Yeager can't be the protagonist and the antagonist unless he's opposing himself, which doesn't make sense. But you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I like Joe. Joe from Megalobox. Really good. I liked Megalobox, so I think I'd go for Joe on this one, but Aaron's gonna win. Unless maybe... Oh, Otokawa. I, I forgot. Odd Taxi was super popular, wasn't it? It was like... Because it was a hidden gem for a while, but then it, it, it just kept getting more and more popular. I'm also wondering if they... Maybe they purposefully, like, didn't want Aaron Yeager to be both best protagonist and best antagonist. But, I don't know, best character design. Let's see. Oh, shoot. Again. Oh. Best, uh, best character design. Uh, Jutsu Kaisen, Odd Taxi, Ranking of Kings, Skating Infinity, Reflux, I Sung, or Wondering Priority. Oh, do they list specific characters? Huh. I don't know. I don't really care about this one. But I guess we'll see. I think... I think ranking... Uh, probably Odd Taxi would probably win, wouldn't it? I feel like that makes sense. Oh, Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. I guess I don't really know what's going to win for any of these. Uh, best Director... Oh, I know nothing about directors. Uh, we have Attack on Titan, Gigi Skyson, Megalobox, Odd Taxi, Sunny Boy, and Wonder Egg Priority. I don't know. I liked all of these. I don't know anything about the directors. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what it goes to. Uh, Baku Kinoshida, who directed Odd Taxi. Cool. <laughs> don't know who that is. Uh, maybe I'll look him up, look him up sometime, but... Uh, next, we have Best Score. Uh, for Best Score, I don't personally pay attention to music too much, but to me, the Megalobox OST... I, OST? Is that... Is that where, but to me, the Megalobox music stood out to me a lot, which is surprising. Music rarely ever stands out to me. I like music. But it always just sort of fades into the background and you don't pay attention to it. But the Megalobox soundtrack is amazing. So I really want Megalobox to win this one. <laughs> I don't know for sure if it will. Because Megalobox wasn't super popular. But, ha, huh, Demon Slayer. I don't... I mean, it, it's mostly just about popularity anyway. So, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Best girl. Let's see. I... Okay. I don't think I care about any of these. I don't know. I'd probably... For me, Toru. Yeah. I don't know. I don't care too much. I, I'd, I'd be fine with any of these winning. So, I guess we'll just see which one got it. Nobara Kugisaki. I... She wasn't even... Uh, to me, she wasn't that memorable. I don't know. I guess she was to other people, but... I know I said I didn't care, but I was just thinking I didn't think she would win. So I said I didn't care, but, you know... We will move on... To a best boy. Senku, Izumi, Arakawa, Boji, Ken and Mikey, or Draken and Mikey. Again, I don't really care. This one, I for real don't care though, okay? So I, I genuinely don't care, okay? <laughs> Boji. Makes sense, I haven't seen it, but I feel like just looking at his character design, I, and from how popular the show is, understandable. And now, best, uh, best ending sequence. I don't I don't remember like any ending sequences at all. So I don't care. We'll just see what one. The Demon Slayer. Okay. 
best opening sequence. I don't know if I even remember these. These ones should be, oh, wait. Okay, I do somewhat remember them. And I really like the Odd Taxi. Odd Taxi was really good. The opening sequence for Odd Taxi, that was good. Same with the Tokyo Revengers one, that was also really good. Same with Attack on Titan. So those three are probably the ones that I would most likely want to win. Super best opening sequence. Attack on Titan. It's more popular, makes sense. Uh, now we have the best animation. Okay, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Mushoko Tensei, Baby Flores Eye Song, or Wonder Egg Priority. Okay, so this one is kind of weird because when it says animation, does that count as art? Like visuals in general? Because if so, it'd probably be Vivi or Wonder Egg Priority. And I mean, even if it wasn't, honestly, those two would probably be my picks. Anyway, yeah. Wonder Egg Priority or Vivi Flores Eye Song. I don't think any, either of those are gonna win. Those are. Uh, uh, yeah, Demon Slayer. Honestly, the movie, to me, like, the movie wasn't as good as the animation in the, in the T. Actually, no, wait. No, that final fight. Okay. That final fight. Never mind. The animation in the final fight was really good. I take, I take it back. But, yeah. I understand that one. Now, finally, anime of the year. 86, Attack on Titan, Jujutsu Kaisen, I Odd Taxi, Ranking of Kings, or Sunny Boy. For me... Sunny Boy was my favorite of these. That's, I don't know how popular Sunny Boy really got, but I really liked it. I, it was just a great show. I liked how original it was. It was nothing like anything I'd ever seen in anime before. So that'd probably be my pick. But Odd Taxi was also really good. Sunny Boy, Odd Taxi, and then I think for me, it'd go Sunny Boy, Odd Taxi, Attack on Titan, Mm, and then like Jujutsu Kaisen and 86 are tied and I, I haven't seen Reeking of Kings so uh Attack on Titan's going to win there's no way it doesn't so yeah Attack on Titan it won who who could have guessed I don't know to me the first part didn't stand out to me as much as I don't I I guess because the other parts of Attack on Titan there were better parts of Attack on Titan than the than the first part of the final season. I wonder if people just picked Attack on Titan because for the entirety of Attack on Titan, I don't know, but the first part of the final season to me wasn't as good. I wouldn't say it was the weakest of all of Attack on Titan, but it, it wasn't as strong, but you know, I understand why it won. Okay, but that would just about wrap it up. So everyone, if you liked the video, please like the video and I see you guys in the next video. Bye.